Hey everyone, my name is Courtney. We are diving straight into this project. Let's go. Grab yourself a vase for this DIY. Mine is from the good old Dollar Tree and you're gonna need some dowel rods. So what you're gonna wanna do here is we're gonna cut these dowel rods down to different lengths. Now I decided on three different lengths, but this is gonna be totally up to you for whatever kind of look you're gonna wanna go. We're gonna be wrapping these around the vase and then adding something to it. So once you decide your three lengths, get those all cut and then we're gonna start attaching this to the vase. Now I'm using my Surebonder glue pen. I will definitely link this down below along with everything else in today's video. One little tip that I wish I'd thought of because it's gonna make this next step a lot easier is when you're putting the glue on your dowel rod, leave about a quarter of an inch um, of the dowel rod on the top portion of it and then run the glue down the rest of the dowel rod so that the top pieces of the dowel rod that are towards the middle of the vase don't have any glue on them. Hopefully that makes sense. So I'm just gonna do that and go all the way around attaching my dowel rods with the hot glue. I wanna tell you real quickly what my original vision was for this. I wanted baby's breath. I went to three different stores, couldn't find it anywhere, couldn't find dried, baby's breath at Hobby Lobby. So I just found some other small little flowers from Hobby Lobby. They were on sale this week. So that works. They're pink. It's cute. And what you want to do is just trim these flowers down and we're going to start sticking them just kind of, you know, randomly at the tops of these dowel rods. So now you'll see why I said don't glue the top. It'll make it so much easier to slide these pieces of florals in. I did have to use a little bit of hot glue to get some of them tacked. But once I went all the way around with the florals and I got it looking how I wanted to, I I did want to finish it off with a pretty organza ribbon. So I just grabbed a pink one that I had in my stash, tied it around, added my candle, and then this little floral candle holder was good to go. For this project, you could do two things with it. Number one, it's a great hostess gift idea. Maybe you're going somewhere for the 4th of July, a barbecue, or over to a friend's house for the afternoon to swim. This is a great quick little gift to pull together. Or you just need some summer decor in your home, it's great for that too. I'm starting with one of these chalkboard easels from Dollar Tree. And well, I'm painting off, or not painting it off, I'm taping off the inside because I'm a messy painter and I wanna paint the frame a yellow. So. I I get it all taped off and then grabbed some sunshine yellow paint from Apple Barrel and painted the entire frame. Once that was painted and I set it aside to dry, I grabbed one of these, I'm gonna call it a lemon slice. It may be an orange slice, it could be a lime slice, I'm not really sure, but Dollar Tree had these years ago and I am still going through them, so I grabbed this so I could use it up. And I also grabbed my Thule paint markers. I've recently started using this brand and I absolutely love it. There's very minimal bleeding, especially when you're using it on wood, so I really do like this brand. And I'm just going to color in this lemon slice with two shades of yellow and then I'll be ready to move to my next step. Now it was time to put my decal on my little sign. So I did use my Cricut to just print out a quick little graphic already in Cricut Design Space. But if you don't have a Cricut, no worries. You can certainly grab yourself some stickers. You could put scrapbook paper here. You could even chalkboard, write it yourself with some chalk markers, lots of options. And I attached my decal to it. And then the last step was to hot glue down my little slice to the top corner. And this is the first part of this DIY. Now let's move into the next step. Part Part two of this project, I just grabbed one of these $3 trays from Dollar Tree and I took some white paint from Waverly and I just painted all of the sides of the tray until it was full coverage. You definitely could do a more distressed look if that's kind of your vibe, but I just painted it till it was full coverage. Then I took some lemon vinyl. This was actually when I collaborated uh, with Expressions Vinyl last year, so I had custom design this lemon vinyl. But if you don't have this, guess what? You can grab some scrapbook paper. That would be perfect for this. Or you could even hand paint your um, designs on here as well. Totally up to you. Add stickers and just Mod Podge. So lots of options of how to get a lemon base for this. But then once that was done, this tray was finished and now I was ready to pull this whole thing together. 
To pull it together, I grabbed six lemons along with the, I believe it was a size large glass canister from Walmart. It was like $9.87. Put those in there and then put it on my tray with the sign. If you're giving it as a gift, you could definitely add a cute wooden spoon, maybe some sugar and some cute cups. But there you go, a cute gift idea, also a great idea for home decor. Who wants to make money while you shop? If that's you, let me tell you about today's sponsor, Top Cashback. Top Cashback's mission is to help you save money on your everyday purchases. With no membership fees or hidden costs, you can sign up for free and gain access to cash back from over 7,000 retailers. You can find retailers like Target, Walmart, and Home Depot, plus Dollar Tree, Hobby Lobby, and Michaels, where you probably buy a lot of your craft supplies. These are just a few of the types of retailers you can find. They are constantly adding new retailers, so you are sure to find a deal. Top Cashback is very easy to use. Once you sign up, you can use the convenient app or go to their website. From there, pick your retailer and order as you normally do when you're shopping online. Complete your transaction, and then the Top Cashback dashboard will show you your total earnings. Top Cashback offers higher cashback rates than competitors. If you would like to start earning cash back for your everyday purchases, sign up now for free with the link in the description box. You'll earn a $10 bonus when you spend your first $25 and that's on top of your cashback earnings. Now back to the DIYs. This project has a lot of potential. Let me tell you right off the bat that after I made it, I had this vase in my stash. That is why I'm using this one. But I do feel like that what you're making here would have more impact if it was just a plain, boring, clear vase. So that would be my recommendation to have a little more, you know, oomph for this project. Now, what you want to do is grab some air dry clay. I'm just using this Crayola Model Magic and you want to roll it out. I rolled it out to about, I don't know, a quarter of an inch thick. You don't need it super thick. And I rolled it out and then I took my vase and turned it over and used that kind of like a cookie cutter and punched a circle. Once that was done, I grabbed some of my lace and I took a little wooden roller that I had and I started to roll that over the top of the clay so that it would leave an imprint. Now, another thing I would recommend because, you know, I'm the guinea pig, I was trying it. I think it would be easier if when you first rolled out the clay before you punched it out with your vase, roll it all out, then press your lace design down, then take your vase and punch out your circle. That would be my recommendation. Once I got the lace imprinted on uh, the clay, I took a dowel rod to punch holes. So you're gonna wanna punch holes forever for however many flowers you have that you're gonna stick in this. And what we're making is kind of a lace topper for the vase. So that's why I feel like a clear vase would really let this piece shine, whereas the one I'm using is already kind of decorative, so it was kind of a lot going on, but I do still like the idea of this. Once I punch the holes, then it's a matter of letting it dry. So what I typically do is I let air the clay dry for 12 hours and then I flip it over, let it dry for 12 hours. And then if I need to flip it again, but just remember you want to flip that air dry clay um, so that you're getting the underside of it too exposed to air so that it can harden up. And then once that was finished, I just set it inside my vase, placed my flowers in there, and you could put some fun fairy lights down at the bottom if you wanted to. That would kind of, you could tie a bow around the vase. Totally up to you, but I think this has a lot of potential to kind of just dress up a plain, boring vase. Now let me show you a quick decor piece that you can do anywhere in your home for the summertime. So this is my current one. I usually let this one run from January until about May or June. I started by taking everything off, wiping the board down, and then I grabbed this box of baseballs from Academy. Now these they had these stamps, one said Academy, and then like one side had the jibber jabber of where it was made and everything else. And I didn't want that showing on the baseball. So I just took some nail polish and wiped that off. And then I put it inside another one of those size large uh, glass jars from Walmart that are under $10 stuck those in there. And then from there, it was just a matter of ranging the rest of the tray. These are all DIYs that I have made in the past. You can find videos on those down below in my description box, patriotic DIYs I've done over the years. But this is gonna be my centerpiece for the summertime.
that's going to wrap up this round of DIYs. Let me know down below which one of these was your favorite. Also, let me know for the month of June so far, what has been your favorite project that you have made, whether it's an actual DIY, maybe you've made over a room. I would love to hear what you guys have been up to for this month so far. Thanks so much for watching, guys. I really do appreciate it. Here are some more videos you might want to check out, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.